Hello everybody, it is me, Friggy Cheese. Uh, welcome back to Friggy Talk, this is episode 2. Um, before we get started with the topics that I feel like covering today, um, I'm just going to look at the comments from last video. Um, from Chris Peer, not sure of any topics, but rah, Friggy Cheese content. Thank you for your support, Crisp, and always awesome to see you. Caden the Cat has commented, um, and he says, You know, I think an awesome video would be you talking about your relationship with your good friend, Caden. Uh, what can I say? Caden's cool. He lets me build bases near his base on the SMP that we're on. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Onward to the topics at hand, um, something I've been thinking about for the past couple days now, um, about a week or so, um, I've been debating um, whether or not to pursue something which I've been trying to pursue for a while on and off, but not really like actively going about it, just more so dreaming on it. So, my plan for that is I want to start my own art studio, um, whether that be a private one for, like, just me and some, some people on my team to work on projects, uh, like Cross, which I mentioned in my, uh, other Freaky Talk, but potentially also being open to the public for like open workshops uh and allowing people to use materials to create their dream projects um i've been thinking about doing this for a while um it's the only thing that stops me from getting fully into it is um i don't know where to start um, I, however, went out today, uh, on a job, a job hunt, and I stumbled across a studio in my area, uh, and I was able to ask the, I believe she was the owner, uh, she might have just been one of the teachers there, I'm not sure, but, uh, I asked a couple people around there, um, some questions, and they gave me a lot of answers, so... Freaky Cheese may or may not be dipping from the internet for a bit. Excuse me. Um, got the hiccups right now. It's awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, and when I say dipping from the internet, I, I don't mean fully. I mean like just, I mean, my videos are already very sparse, but um, a little bit more sparsity between them. Um, content creation is very fun and important to me it's helped me find a lot of people that um i don't think i would have been the same without um a lot of my friends are through content creation um intentionally or not um <clears throat> so it's really hard for me to say if i'm going to leave it entirely at any point um but I'm definitely not going to be posting a lot if I end up going with this. And I, I, I'm pretty certain I will be doing this because uh, the alternative is to continue going to school. And that kind of brings me to my other topic. I have never been fond of the way art is taught in school. It's very... um. It's either you get a bad teacher or the teacher only believes in one form of art or maybe you're just not inclined artistically in the first place and then you get one of the other two things that I mentioned. And I think that sucks because I find art to be one of the freest things one of the one of the most calming things, one of the best things that you can do is to create something. 
Um, and the fact that a lot of people get turned off of art just because of how it's taught or who the teachers are, it's, it, it sucks a lot. Um, I have a lot of friends that w would probably be doing art if they weren't like basically reprimanded for doing something creative in an art class. Um, so yeah, currently I am in school for art. I'm not in an art school, but I'm in a school attending for art and, um, they teach it the same as they do in every other school, which is to say not the way that I can learn and not a way that I feel is useful for people who are interested in art because whenever I'm in school for art, I feel like my passion for art dies a little bit more just because it's not what I want to be doing. And I understand that a lot of what I want to do is later on, like I want to be able to do my own projects, but in order to get there, I have to get through the boring stuff. And it's not that it's boring. That's the issue. It's just that they, they don't have any soul. <laughs> I'm not trying to say that um, the teachers don't have souls or they're demons or anything, but um, it's it's just like they're making you draw, but without putting any passion into it, and it sucks. Um, so I want to do my studio. I want to get my studio up and running. Um, and I want to be able to do that for a career, um, for my passion projects. I want to be able to have a place I can go to. I want to be able to meet more creative people. Um, it's just, it's something I've wanted to do for a really long time. And I feel like if I don't do it, um, it's, I'm just not going to be happy. So, um, yeah. I just, uh, it's just something I feel like I have to do, uh, and school is an obstacle to that, and so on and so forth. Um, let's see, <clears throat> let's see what else is going on. Um, for Cross, which is the comic I mentioned in the last one, um, I do have additional plans for it. Not only am I making the comic... But I'm also working on a documentary on the production of it. Um, so if you're interested in that, um, or maybe you're just interested in the comic, um, there's also going to be a documentary posted when the comic is done. Um, so yeah, it's just a lot of cool stuff that's going on. Um, Right now we're figuring out, or I'm figuring out story, and I have somebody, somebody else who's helping with concept art, and like, um, I, I believe she said she was going to also help with coloring when, once the line art's all done. Um, so yeah, we, plans are in motion for Cross, um, and hopefully it'll turn out just, just the way I planned it just the way I envision it in my head. Um, I'm really excited for this project, and hopefully if I get this done, um, I can use it to get funding for the studio, maybe. I don't know. Um, so yeah, leave a comment down below if you um, are interested in Cross at all. Um, I can, uh, I can talk more about it. I can, uh, post updates and stuff. Um, I've been thinking about, um, doing a Discord server for art and just generally hanging out. So, I mean, if anybody, if anybody in my audience is interested, definitely comment, let me know. Um, 
but yeah, um, I think that'll do it for this friggy talk. Excuse me, I have to sneeze. I'm going to pause the audio for a second. Isn't that awesome? As soon as I paused it, it went away. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching Freaky Talk episode two. Um, if you have any questions that you want to ask or you want an answer to, um, feel free to ask in the comments. Um, feel free to uh, like, subscribe, and share. It would mean a lot. It would help out a lot. Uh, and it shows me that you want to see more of these. Um, and what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, why don't you leave a comment of something good that happened today? And we'll try to share a little positivity with each other. Just in case somebody's having a bad day. It doesn't mean we all have to. Um, and maybe we can make that person's day a little better by all sharing our good days. Um. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching. I have been Friggy Cheese. This has been Friggy Talk. And I'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye.